Relations and Functions Part 2. Graph the relation shown. Use the vertical line test. Is the relation a function? So we have a set of ordered pairs here, and the first thing I have to do is create uh, a coordinate plane. So I'm going to lay my metric ruler down here, and I'm going to draw a line approximately 20 centimeters long. And along that line, I'm going to mark it every centimeter. And at about the 10 centimeter point, I'm going to make an extra long line. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to place my ruler right on that point where the 10 centimeter line lines up with this vertical line. And I'm going to go out to about 20 centimeters that way and to about zero that way. And take that line and mark it every centimeter. I'm going to put arrows and label this my y-axis. This is my x-axis. And I'm going to number it. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Now I'm ready to uh, plot my ordered pairs. Starting with this first ordered pair, negative 6, that's my x value, and it goes down negative 5. So I'll use my ruler as a guide, and negative 5, excuse me, negative 6 going over x, and negative 5 going y. So that's my first point, my first ordered pair. My second order pair is negative 3, negative 1, 2, negative 3, and then I go down negative 2. So again, using my ruler, make my mark there, and going down, that's my y value of negative 2, put my mark. That's my second order pair. My third order pair is 0, 2, so 0, x, I stay right at the origin, and then I go up 2. That's my 0, 2 ordered pair. My next ordered pair is over x, 1, <coughs> and uh, y is 0, so I don't go up or down. So that's my next ordered pair. The next one is x is 4, and then i got to go up 3. So I'll use my metric ruler and go up 1, 2, 3. And that's my next ordered pair. The last ordered pair is 5, 7, so I go x over 5, and y is 7, so I go up 7, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, that's my next ordered pair plot. Okay, so now I've graphed the relation shown, those are all the points that represent the ordered pairs. So now I want to use the vertical line test. And the vertical line test is just a visual test that tells me if this relation is a function. And the idea is real simple. You take your pencil and you lay it on each point, and if that vertically, and if it only crosses one point at each point, then the relation is a function. And as you can see that I'm going here, there's only um, in a function, each member of the domain is paired with exactly one pair of, with exactly one member of the range. Okay? There's one range value for each domain value. And you see that visually on the vertical line test. So therefore, this relation is a function. And that's it.